What is up my game maker enthusiasts, it's Zach here back with another multiplayer top down shooter tutorial. And in this episode what we're going to do is we are going to create the health system for our game. So if we run the game now, as you can see we have a cool shooting system in our game. So we can shoot around, um, we've got tons of stuff going on. Uh, and what we want to do now is just add a quick health system into the game. So basically when you get shot, you have a little health bar above your head and uh, when it goes down when you get shot, obviously. So this is going to be a little bit simpler, trying to get you guys to uh, sort of understand just some pretty basic things on, you know, if you wanted to uh, just transfer variables over, uh, you can do that pretty easily. All right, so first thing we're going to do is in our player object, and the create event, we're going to set HP to equal 20. And then in our other client, we're going to do the same thing. HP equals 20. And then just so our server can keep track of it, we're going to set HP to equal 20 in the server client. So this HP variable is going to be what we're going to display onto the screen and what we're going to transfer through the server and client uh, when you get sh uh, when you get shot then uh, you, you know you lose one health point or something like that now later on we can add something like grenades where you have sort of a blast radius um, and you know it takes more damage off uh, and so on so for now let's go ahead and go into our player and in the draw event first thing we're going to do is say draw self and then we're just going to draw a simple health bar so I'm going to say draw health bar uh, x minus 16 y minus 20 we'll say x plus 16 y minus uh, 18 so we'll have the health bar just be two pixels uh, in height and we'll stretch it across the entire um, image which is 32 which is why we minus 16 and added 16 so the amount uh, with our draw health bar function in game maker defaults at a 100 so since ours is 20 and we're gonna say HP multiplied by 5 just so it equals uh, 100 the back color is gonna be white and these are all preferences that you can do this is nothing uh, server related um, our min minimum color is going to be red. Our maximum color is going to be green. Direction is going to be zero and false and false. We don't want to show the board or anything like that. All right, so this is a pretty simple um, function here. If you wanted to, you could you know make rectangles or something, but this works just fine. So uh, I'm going to copy this and put it into our client as well. We're right under the name. Cool, so now that we have that out of the way, now we have everything drawn on both screens and we can just put it through the actual server and client side. So in our server, what we're gonna do is in our server handle shoot, here you can see, you know, this is how we uh, figure out if we've been hit or not. And what we're gonna do is if we have been hit, I'm gonna say buffer right, send buffer, and we're going to make it a U8, and we're going to say obj.hp. So we're just going to send uh, this HP of uh, our other client that we just hit to the clients. So in, if we are hit, we're going to say obj.hp minus equals 1. Pretty simple. So now if we go to our client, in our handle message, here you can see we have our message hit. And here, since we wrote it, we need to read it. So I'm gonna say client shot dot HP equals buffer read buffer buffer U8. And this should transfer it over. And that's really it. That's it's a pretty simple uh, 
just sending some variables over. So let's go ahead and um, compile the game here. So I'm going to say 11. And then we will go into it. We'll create the server. Create the client. So, oh, and we're getting an error. Interesting. Let me go ahead and check. Um, ah. From the last tutorial, I put the semicolon in. That should be a comma just to kind of show you guys. So, um, you guys should not actually be getting that error. So, I'm going to go ahead and recompile it again. So we'll create the server, create the client. So you can see we have a health bar now and we're shooting and let's join another one, just name it whatever. And uh, let's see, what are we going at? So we shoot, nothing happens and if we hit, as you can see the health is going down. Oh, so that works perfectly. We'll go on this side here and died so we don't have actually a spawning system in the game yet um, and as you can see the the text is a little bit off there let me go ahead and change that real quick but uh, we don't have a spawning system in the game yet so this is uh, sort of what do you guys want to see next so do you guys want to see um, where am I going we got to go to the other client we'll just say mine is 36 we'll say so do you guys want to see like a spawning system in the game that we can do do you want to see uh, you know sort of start generating maps accordingly through the server uh, we can start creating enemy AIs in the game we can start creating grenades we can do a lot of different stuff with it let me go ahead and run that one more time join the server Oh, there we go. Looks good now. And we can hit. So yeah, we can start doing a lot of different things with this. Go ahead and follow my Twitter. Uh, the link is in the description. And I put out polls before every tutorial to kind of see, engage what you guys want to see next. And uh, see how many people are still following the tutorial and haven't given up on it yet. So... Uh, again, I'm going to try and answer every question that you have. That's why I wanted to put just a quick, simple tutorial out uh, so you guys could kind of get on the same page here and say, okay, yeah, this was a lot easier than I thought it might be. So leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's go and try for 100 likes this time. Thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you want to see next. Visit CodyMadeSimple.com to learn more. Peace.